I am in New York City, in the Bronx, with my good friend, Mike Casey. We just had a, 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 a seminar, awesome uh, weekend of belt promotions and, and jiu-jitsu and fun, and he is gracious enough to share a technique with us. So, um, without further ado, Mike, great to have you here. I'm use uh, Dante Santori here, local blue belt. So we're gonna cover some of the arm attacks from the top protective or turtle position. So pretty much I'm gonna start, we all always want our knee inside, obviously I can hold the sleeve. I'm not worried about details of getting here. You guys get down on your own and we'll go from here. For the most part, I've had a lot of situations where guys wanna grab this leg, pull it in, and maybe try to tackle me backwards. And it can be effective. So the key with doing this move is when he goes with his foot, he's not going to grab slowly. He's going to snatch it fast. Right. So when he goes for it quick, as he goes for it, I got to quick grab his arm and sit back on my leg. His reaction now is when he'll bring his arm back in because he feels this close to an arm lock. He'll bring it back in to hug my leg to keep it tight. At this point, I want to increase my grip. I'm going to hold his hand to me as I pick my leg up. Difficult to pull his arm back now. Can you pull your arm back now? No. But he's going to try. When he does that, he cinches the bite, and I bite my leg tight on his arm. So I get a really good grip now. I'm going to continue to maintain the position, hold his head, bug him. My left leg at this point will go straight back, and this knee will slide behind his elbow and pinch it in, at which point I can put my toes out and just start to raise my knee slowly. And it's going to feel like an Americana in a funny angle on the shoulder. So go slow with this because the pressure's in a weird spot. We can move on to two more quick from here. Same attack. He grabs my foot. I grab it. He pulls it up. I get the whole grip. But now maybe he wants to run away. He sees this, the fear, doesn't like what his feels. So maybe he wants to run away with it and pull it out and turn it around to try to get it out. As I feel him go back, I just pick my heel up, slide my left leg back, put my right foot behind my knee like a triangle position, and slowly open my knees and slide down to get a straight arm But that's pretty tough. But if we miss that, we have to play it again. I'm here. As Dante goes to roll his arm around, maybe he goes past my other leg. So turn this way a little bit. And you see he made it kind of past my foot, right? Now my play is simply, keep it there, keep my legs tight. This hand's gonna be under the arm. I'm gonna pass his head to this hand and then straighten this arm to expose the arm, replace with this arm deep and get the inverted crucifix that Hickson's been so famous of doing in the other direction. Hold his head, lift it and lean in. It just caused a lot of pain. I could also slide down the arm, keep in the connection, and just press it straight down to destroy his shoulder. Twist his arm, lock the arm, it's your party, you got some fun with Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. Where can everybody find you? Uh, the website's greasyny.com. Uh, you can plug your email into that. You can hook up with our newsletter, comes out every two weeks. Fitness, diet tips, keeps you in touch with what's going on in the school. And uh, info at gracieny.com if you want to send an email. And basically, right on. Thanks so Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Great group here, guys. If you're ever in the New York, Bronx area, come see these guys. You'll have a fantastic time. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.